Happy New Year to everybody out there. It's just about time to start thinking about the new season coming up. Uh, I'm going to tie something a little bit different today. Um, you know, we always talk about dry fly here, here at uh, Classic Journey, and, and that's the preferred method. Um, one of my personal favorites is kind of like dry fly fishing, but it's sight fishing streamers uh, to fish, which means fishing rather than loading up a streamer with a bunch of flash and heavy weight and it feels like you're throwing a, a car fender in the river, which is, can be a lot of fun, but um, not everybody loves to do that. I like to sight fish them right under the surface, right uh, six inches under the surface. It's very, very visual. It's a lot easier to throw. It's not a chunk at the end of your line and you get to see the fish take. You know, one of the most exciting things for me is to see those big brownies chase streamers and visually see them suck it in. So this pattern is really about drab and about size. It's about getting as much mass um, on a fly without a lot of weight and being able to have it a color and a profile that you as the angler can see. Uh, we call this pattern the bird. It's a version of somebody else's you know, whistler, scream, or anything else like that. So it's, it's not original. It's just another version of a fly that's been around a long time. The first part is a, uh, a calf tail. Uh, I use white. Uh, one of the tricks of the pattern is to get it underneath the hook and you do that one to create a white profile of a belly um, but also to keep that that tail from fouling. This this pattern can sometimes want to foul a lot. Um, I do have some weight on the pattern. Uh, I do have some weight on the pattern. That's up in here and I just threw some lead on, prepped the fly, ready to go. That's really not to get it down. It's just that the materials here are uh, pretty buoyant and you want enough to break that surface film and that gets that little collar underneath the hook so that it'll hold these big heavy duty webby feathers from a neck um, so it'll hold that from fouling and you want a lot of profile there's so many streamer patterns that that their profile is is the same it's all at about the size of a spark plug about the size of a um, you know, I call it a crayfish or anything like that, but they're bulky and they're short. This one's designed to be in the water, a lot leaner with almost no flash. And we just tied those on there, trying to get a long profile. You can see that calf tail underneath it. And then real easy, throw on some, I like brown just because I like the body to be a different color. And this is just rabbit fur. Take that forward, working forward to the head. Throw it and just wrap it. And that gives it a lot of movement um, when it's going through the water. A lot of movement when it's going through the water. And not a heck of a lot. It's not like those big double bunnies that are this long and it sucks up a bunch of, wa bunch of water and then gets heavy. This is all about the movement of the pattern. So real easy, you got some calf tail for the bottom, you got some fur on top, and then I like to put a little dark head. You notice I didn't put dumbbell eyes or anything on there. Um, I don't worry about it with this pattern. This is the not flashy. This is bigger and not flashy. Let me just take a little bit of that brown calf tail, get her on there, and trim it. Let's throw that down there. And you can clean up your thread work so it looks really nice. It's not crucial. You're going to super glue the heck out of the front of this. Just give it a little bit there. Get that just so it looks nice. And real simple, real, real simple pattern. Dark head, dark body. Got a, got a little bit of a white, a um, little bit of a white belly to it. And we call this, here's another one here, we call that the bird. Long, much longer than what you can buy. Not very heavy. Fish this on a floating line right under the surface, something big that you're going to get their attention uh, with and visually see it. I've had days on the Missouri with this pattern where all the flashy spark plug stuff doesn't work and this six inches under the surface just brings gators out of the, out of the uh, shallows and visual eats. You know, everything we like to do over here has a visual uh, component to it and a really lighted, really light weighted, buoyant streamer gives you that visual take. Um, I hope everybody has a happy new year. We've got a spring special again running uh, beginning in March. 
looking like a great March season. Snowpack's going to be some looks like somewhere in the middle. So take advantage of one of the best deals in town, and best deals in the business for that matter. Seven seventy-five an angler, uh, four nights lodging, three days guided fishing. Mm, happy holidays.